Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and in this edition of Let's Learn Mortal Kombat 11, I want to talk about walk speeds. So walk speeds are basically the building blocks of just any fighting game, because you know, you have to get the point A and point B, right? Uh, in some fighting games, they are more important than others, to be sure, you know, um, Marvel vs. Capcom with aerial movement, you know, air dashes and all sorts of dashes. Walk speed is not as important, not to say it's not important, but not as important versus a game like this, or you know, a Street Fighter or something, where it's a much more grounded and neutral based game. Walk speed is king, because it can determine what you do. So in Mortal Kombat 11, every character has different walk speeds. And there's quite a few tiers of walk speed, and just so you know, I do have a tier list of walk speeds, which I'll go over in a little bit here. But uh, needless to say, walk speeds are very important. So in Mortal Kombat and most fighting games as a general concept, walking forward is always going to be faster than walking backwards. Uh, generally, just so you know, you can't just walk backwards easily and the other guy can't catch up, right? So walking backwards, generally speaking, is always going to be slower than walking forwards. And in this game here, I have our two examples here because uh, we have Frost, who's definitely the overall slowest in the game. And we have Scarlet, who is the overall fastest in the game. And walk speeds dictate a lot of simple stuff like just, hey, I'm walking backwards and I watch you flub your move and then I can punish you, right? And if I was a slower character, you might have actually got me versus if I was a faster character, I might have just inched you out and then caught your move, right? This is a basic thing and this is why walk speeds are so important. So with that said here, I'm going to show you hard numbers as well, because I do have the hard numbers, because uh, I spent quite a laborious time going through a lot of frame counting. But let's just show you a generalized tier list of forward walk speeds and backwards walk speeds. So this is our forward movement walk speed tier list, because once again, forward movement and backward movements are different, and it's different for each character too. A character can move fast forward and not move fast backwards and vice versa, right? So we'll get to that. Uh, but this is our forward movement tier list here, so it's labeled as very fast, fast, average, and slow. And just so you know, this tier list is ordered. So a character on the left is faster or at least as fast as the character on the right going downwards. So the people on the left are faster than the people going to the right. So let's just look at our tier list as it stands for forward movement speed. So as you can see here in our tier list here, the fastest characters in the game for walking forward are Sub-Zero, Jackie, Scarlet, Katana, and Garrus. So a bit of an odd assortment because these characters I feel want to do different things. Uh, Jackie, moving fast forward, makes sense, right? She wants to just tear you up because she's a very aggressive character. Sub-Zero as well, you know, being a little bit more mix-up based than he's ever traditionally ever been. Forward walk speed, wants to get in, hey, that makes sense too. Someone like Scarlet, um, while she has moves that benefit aggression, they are not in her tournament variations. And hey, check the Scarlet Third Variation video if you want to see what an aggressive Scarlet looks like, right? But as it stands, her turn, uh, tournament variations, they're not very aggressive, right? So she definitely wants to play keep away and she can still walk forward very fast. Uh, while she quote unquote does not need it, uh, definitely, you know, it's nice to have, right? And then we have Katana and Garrus. Now, if we want to go all the way down to the slow boys, so in the slow category, we got Kano, Cetrion. Now, Cetrion is another character that makes sense to be slow. Cetrion is a very zoning-based character. So she has very little reason to want to move forward, thus she is slow. Jade as well, she's pretty much categorized as a zoner, and plus she has very long reach with a lot of her normals. So her forward walk speed suffers. And Frost, well, I don't know. Frost is just really slow. <laughs> and then we have all characters in between. So let's move on to the backwards walk tier list. So now on the backwards walk speed tier list, you can think th things are shaking up quite a bit, right? Uh, so we have a character like Cetrion. Cetrion was on the slow end of the forward walk speed. Now she's on the very fast end of the backwards walk speed. Because, hey, she wants to walk backwards. Same with Jade as well on this list. They want to walk backwards, throw fireballs, move forward, and eh, maybe not so much, right? But uh, the game is rewarding them for being able to move backwards, so they give them a faster backwards move speed. Now, on the converse flip side here, so Jackie, who was in the very fast forward movement category here before, her backwards movement is bad. It's only uh, second only to Frost, because once again, Frost, for some reason, is god awfully slow for some reason. I don't really understand the logic behind that. But uh, yeah, so as you can see here, some characters are amazing at moving forward, and some are really good at moving backwards, but it changes around a bit. The only universal constant is Scarlet, because Scarlet is the only character to be both very fast forward movement and very fast 
backwards movement, basically making her the Sonic the Hedgehog of the game, right? And if she's the Sonic the Hedgehog, then Frost is the slow turtle. Because <laughs> um, these are definitely the only two characters that basically share the tier both in forward walk speed and backwards walk speed. Now, about right now, you're probably going to see some numbers scrolling up screen. These are the absolute numbers. So you can see exactly how fast each character is. And I'll show you how I got these numbers. So I'm using the stage here, the Black Dragon Underground stage. And I'm using the stage because they both have an interactable, basically equidistant from the corner on both sides of the screen. So uh, for me, when I start moving here from the uh, corner to the interactable, as soon as the interactable, the R1 prompt, the usable prompt shows up, that is where my start to finish is. I start in the corner. And when I can get to there, that's my prompt. That's when I stop. And I frame count every frame in between until we get to that point. Uh, much the same if we are in the opposite corner here. I walk backwards to the other interactable. And then I just go from there. So these are the generalized ways I've gotten to the numbers for the walk speeds. I want to induce as little human error as possible. So I figure going frame by frame can't go wrong. There might be a frame off one way here or there, do like various video editing things, I don't know. But for the most part, I figure this is the most fair way to determine walk speeds. And there you go. So there you have it. So once again, walk speed, very critical in any fighting game. Uh, if you want to pressure, 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 hey, it probably really helps to have a good forward walk speed, right? And if you want to play keep away or if you're really big on whiff punishing people's normals, that kind of stuff then it's probably very good to have a good backwards walk speed because, hey, how are you going to whiff punish if you can't walk backwards fast enough and you still get hit, right? Uh, but yeah, so uh, this is something that took quite a while to make, so I hope you appreciate it. Uh, it's just something I've always been uh, interested in myself. Like, I, I had a good idea Scarlet was one of the faster characters, but now I know the numbers. And I had a good idea Frost was one of the slower characters, but I didn't know she was the out-and-out -out slowest in the game by a mile, right? And hey, that's the fun of learning, so... Here it is. Anyways, that's it for me and that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Mortal Kombat.